Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here. And today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and give you my first impressions on the brand new OnePlus pad in this halo green right here. And huge thanks and shout out to OnePlus for sending this out for us to go ahead and take a look at here on the channel. And there's actually a deal going on right now if you order on their website. I have a link down in the description below. 479 bucks will also get you a free folio case and a $50 bonus trade and credit. So make sure you check that out if you are interested in this. But this is just going to be a quick unboxing, not only of the OnePlus pad, but also the OnePlus Stylo that were nice enough to send this out as well, and also the OnePlus Magnetic Keyboard. So we're gonna be unboxing all of this. No, this is not a full review, just a quick unboxing and first impression. So let's go ahead and get this started. So starting off with the OnePlus pad here itself, of course we do have some OnePlus branding up at the top. And then what I really like about the picture of the actual tablet here in the front is it's kind of got like this 3D effect. Not really sure if you can tell here on camera, but it's almost like it's popping out at you, but nothing really else special going on here around the box. But let's go ahead and get it unboxed in this halo green color coming in 128 gigabytes with eight gigabytes of RAM. Got that 11.61 inch display with 144 hertz of smoothness. Boom, here we go. Now this is the reviewer's unit, which is why you don't see any tape or anything like that. But we are greeted with the display itself. And we're getting that 11.61 inch display, like I said. So pretty nice, big display. And it actually feels really good in the hand, really, really light. But I wanna see the back of this. So look at that in that halo green color looking really, really nice of course we do have that camera up at the top center but really loving this green here and i'm glad they went with this because it's pretty much like that color that we have with the new one plus device and also their buds coming in this green color so it's all going to match perfectly with the set that i have but looking really really good i'm gonna go ahead and just set this over to the side for now go ahead and put the display up we also have the user manuals, you know, all that stuff that nobody really likes to read. Let me go ahead and get rid of that over here. And then of course we get the charging cable, USB type A to USB type C. And what's really cool is that it also comes with a charging brick and we don't see that coming with a lot of devices these days. It does have that 67 watt Super VOOC charging. So you already know we're gonna get that super fast charging with this OnePlus pad right here. Again, look at this, looking really, really nice. Absolutely beautiful. So the tablet is over there just finishing the setup. And while we're waiting for that, let's go and take a look at these other things I got here. One of them being the OnePlus Stylo. Box opens nice and easy just like that. And we are greeted with the stylus itself. And it's got like something magnetic in there because it's sticking to the box. Look at that. But this is the pen itself. And it's actually really nice in this nice white color and it, it feels good as well feels good in the hand almost like i'm holding an actual an actual pen to write so really really nice let's see what else comes in the box here with the pen not really sure what's in this little box probably just a little user manual things like that let's see i'm really curious to see what is holding the pen inside this box okay so this right here this little piece of metal I'm assuming, maybe not, <laughs> but it does come with a little pin right here as well. So that is what comes into the box of the stylo. Let's go ahead and see what comes in the box of the OnePlus magnetic keyboard. And it looks like the opening is over here. So let's go ahead and pull it out here. Ooh, all right, here we go. So it looks like it's going to be the same color as the OnePlus pad that they sent me in this green color right here, as you can see open it up, got this covering the keyboard itself. So this is nice, it's going to be like a, a little laptop. As you can see, we got the keys right here. They actually have a nice, a nice click to them. And it's not, you know, a huge keyboard. It is pretty compact, but it is going to pretty much be the same size as the OnePlus pad here. Let's see. So it is all finished getting set up here. Look at that, looking, man, this screen is actually it's looking really, really nice. I'm loving the colors of the screen right here. Let's see, is the brightness all the way up? The bright, so this is max brightness right here. And it, to me, it looks like the brightness is going to be really good if I were to use this out in bright sunlight. But let's see how this works with the pad real quick. So it sticks nice like that. Let me get this box out of here. And let's see, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Really, really cool there. So it's going to lock in in the back of the tablet there 
And now you got a little laptop here. So just to give you a better angle here to see what this looks like, pretty much giving us that laptop experience. And yes, I did change the wallpaper in the back here and this display is absolutely beautiful, super smooth. You can definitely feel that 144 Hertz of smoothness here. And yes, the keyboard actually feels pretty good as well. Let's go ahead and go into notes here. We'll start a new note. There we go. So we can just write something like, let's see, the cat went to go eat, period. So it's actually really nice to type on. Now, me personally, I don't have a laptop, which is why I do everything on my device when it comes to editing videos, uh, a lot of times recording videos, editing my thumbnails, typing stuff out. Everything is done on my phone, so I don't really use a keyboard all the time. Actually, never. So for me, this feels pretty good. I can't really compare it to other keyboards. Uh, because like I said, I don't really use other keyboards, but to me, this is actually nice and smooth. The mouse pad itself down here at the bottom is nice and smooth as smooth as well. We can go back as you can see there. And even if the keyboard is still connected, you can still control it with your hand as you can see here. Now, like I said, the display is looking really, really good. Let's go ahead and go into the settings here so I can show you what my display settings are like. As you can see, I am using dark mode, got the brightness all the way at max, got the screen color mode. Actually, I didn't mess with that. Okay, so that is at vivid right there. Let's go down to image sharpener. I do have that on. I do have the video color enhancer on as well. Screen off at 10 minutes and the screen refresh rate is at the highest, a maximum refresh rate of 144 Hertz for smoother animations and operations. Now you do of course have the option to switch it back down to 60 Hertz if you do want to save battery life. And just so you know, this does have a 9,510 milliamp battery, which should be more than enough to get you through the day. And then of course we do have the pen up here that does stick up there. Uh, magnetically as you can see there and it does let us know how much charge is in there 95 percent and this as well very responsive very smooth with the pen right here so this is actually a nice touch and just so you can see what it's going to be like closed this is all the way closed right here let's go ahead and see what the thickness or thinness is going to look like as you can see there still nice and thin so very thin tablet looking very, very nice. Let me go ahead and take it out of this uh, keyboard case so we can look at the tablet itself for those of you who don't, don't want the keyboard. If you look over here, which I guess is considered the right side if you're looking at it uh, head on like this, we do have two speakers down there. Also over here, some more speakers, two more speakers with the microphone USB type C input, which is nice. Got the magnet, magnets down there at the bottom for the keyboard. Going up to the top, volume rockers, microphone, nothing over here. That's just for the, where the magnet is for the pen. And then of course, going to the back, we do have that camera right there in the middle. But overall, absolutely beautiful tablet. As far as first impressions go, I am impressed, <laughs> I guess you could say. It is very, very nice. And I am using the face unlock. Let's see if that works here behind camera. There we go. So face unlock is working good as well. So there you have it. Just a quick unboxing and first impressions of the new OnePlus pad. So far, I am definitely liking it. Can't wait to really start using it and testing it out. If there's anything specific that you would like to see in a future video, possibly in my full review or maybe a separate video, just let me know down in the comment sections below. And if you are interested in picking one of these up for yourself, like I said, I have a link down in the description below. So you can take advantage of that $479 with the free folio case and a $50 bonus trading credit as well. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. If you are not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content, not only with this, but everything else I got going on here on the channel. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos. Thanks so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.